Hello everyone and welcome to, yet again, another Friday new product post. We only have a couple things this week, but let's go ahead and talk about them anyway. So I don't usually talk about new retail products, but I think this is warranted this week. This is the Redboard PTH kit, or the SparkFun Redboard PTH kit. And um, this is a retail product. We also do have it as a non-retail product, which is the same thing, just without the fancy packaging. And what this is, is a microcontroller kit. It comes with everything you need to put together your own microcontroller. And essentially, in the end, you're just going to have an Arduino-compatible microcontroller board. So let me open this up, show you what's included, and just kind of give you the rundown of what this kit is. So you got the little card here on the back. And inside, we have this handy little instruction manual. So for those of you that aren't familiar with retail packaging, Retail packaging typically has a little bit more added bonus um, other than just the packaging. We tend to include things you know, like a manual. Um, all retail has a landing page. So if you look down here, it's got sparkfun.com slash redboard kit. This is a specific tutorial just for this kit. Now, we don't do a specific tutorial on every single product we have, but retail products have a specific tutorial. So anything that's in retail, you can check out that little link down there and it'll give you this whole tutorial on how to use this. Um, but in addition, it has this little booklet that walks you through how to solder everything and how to put the kit together. So we've got that. Um, we've got some headers over here. Behind this little insert, we've got the main PCB, which you can see is um, pretty much the same form factor as an Arduino, so it is um, compatible with the shields. So you just pop these in there and you can use any Arduino shield. Uh, we've got just, you know, the resistors and diodes and other things. Um, it does come with this guy. This is a pre-programmed at Mega328 and even has a little label on the top that outlines the different pins so you can tell which pins do what. Nice and educational. And we've got the socket from that and then, you know, we have the other various pieces in here like the um, barrel jack, voltage regulator, things like that, button, blah, blah, blah. So this is what comes in the kit. And when you're done, you have something that looks pretty much exactly like a red Arduino. Um, now, true to form with all the boards that we make, it does not have um, the USB converter built in, but Right over here, you have a header for the FTDI. So it makes the board a little bit smaller, a little bit more inexpensive, and most of us have FTDIs sitting around. So if you're going to buy this kit, you're going to want to have an FTDI as well. Um, the red board is basically what we're calling, you know, the Arduino compatible um, development board. We also have, in addition to the red board PTH kit, we also have the red board add on or the PCB add on. And then we also have the Redboard Breadboard Kit. The Redboard Breadboard Kit is essentially these components with a breadboard and some jumper wires. So you take the jumper wires, the components, and you hook it all together, and then you get you know, an Arduino on a breadboard. And the point of that kit is to teach people how to hook things up on a breadboard and how to breadboard your own development platform. Um, from that, we have the PCB add-on, which basically adds the PCB and a couple other components like this socket. So you can take that kit that you built on the breadboard, take it off, put it on here, and have something more permanent. And then we, of course, have this kit, which is the full kit, which you just end up building just this. So if you want to build your own microcontroller, want to learn how, check out the Redboard Breadboard Kit, the Redboard PCB Add-on Kit, or the Redboard PTH Kit. Next up, we've got this guy. This is the Arduino Ethernet shield. However, it has a little bit of a twist. This is the Ethernet shield with PoE. What is PO, you might say? Um, P is power over Ethernet. So you have this board, you have it connected to your Ethernet, you know, connected to your Arduino. You gotta plug this stuff in, right? It needs power. Well, the beauty of power over Ethernet is you already have this Ethernet cable connected to this thing. And so you already have wires running to it. Why run separate extra wires just for power? Well, with the unused wires on your Cat5 cable, you can actually send power into this jack and then, you know, in turn goes into this board and you can actually power the board through Ethernet. 
Now we have a couple other products. I think we have like the um, PoE cable sets to where you can actually, you know, plug it into your system and you can actually inject, you know, some power into your Ethernet. So it's a pretty popular and pretty common protocol. So it is nice that the official Arduino board has this extra piece here, which allows you to take advantage of power over Ethernet. So let's say you're doing some kind of um, sensor network with you know, one of these connected to an Arduino all over your house or building or whatever. And each one of these is connected to the internet and it's, um, you know, relaying back sensor data or it's relaying back, you know, camera controls, whatever. Um, instead of having to plug each one of these in individually, you can just inject power into your Cat5 cables and each one of these can just simply be connected into the Cat5 cable. So it's pretty handy. Um, for those of you not generally familiar with the Ethernet Shield, um, it plugs directly into any of the Arduino boards, like so, and it gives you the ability to have your Arduino talk to other things over the internet or just over your network. So in my previous example, I was talking about having them scattered throughout the building. Let's say you just wanted to spend a lot of money and make a really complicated um, control system for your furnace or your air conditioner in your house. You could have one of these modules in every room with, let's say, a temperature sensor, and it could take the information it reads from the temperature sensor, spit it out over Ethernet, and even, you know, host a little web page or a website, and they could all, you know, sit there and talk, and you could see, like, the temperature in all your different rooms, and then you could maybe even, you know, have a relay connected up to one of these to where you could have it turn on and off different things in the rooms. You could have it control your lights, whatever. Um, it's not limited to just on your network. You can also have these talk to the outside. So if you do some IP forwarding on your router, you can have these talk out to the internet. And so you could be at work, let's say, and use one of these to remote control some video camera to look off, look after your pets or feed your pets when you're gone, something like that. There's a lot of different uses for it. And the Ethernet Shield does have a um, pretty robust library that makes it relatively easy to um, get all the code on there. Um, but the Ethernet Shield is just one of those great things about Arduino that you have this expansion of hardware that allows the lowly Arduino to talk out into the internet and the whole rest of the world. So if you're looking to expand the abilities of your Arduino and have it, you know, talk to the broad scope of the internet, check out the Ethernet Shield. And if you want to power it over Ethernet, check out the PoE version of the Ethernet Shield. So there you have it, just the two products for this week. But as always, check out the rest of the new product post. We have a lot of um, new revisions of some older products um, on the website. So go ahead and check out the rest of the post, and we will see you again next week with even more new products.